Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Sintel with the Intel, and we're getting ready to do another watch along for Cowboy Bebop episode four. If you have not seen one through three, please do yourself a favor and check out one through three because it has been a fun ride so far. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscription button so that you get up to date notifications anytime we drop this new information, man. When we drop these new episodes, you want to be the first one. That is how, you know, that gets done. So without further ado, we are about to get started, but first, let me warn you that some of this footage is going to be chopped up very quickly, probably about eight second bites. It might be flipped backwards and a little bit translucent. That is so that we can respect copyright violations. If you wanna see the full thing in all of its glory, then you know, get a Netflix account. That's how that thing works. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this thing. This is Cowboy Bebop episode four. Let's go. All right, let's see what kind of <laughs> new liberties they take with the story. The music's still pretty good. You know, the music is still a very good part of, a, of the character of the whole show, so Hello, they've been maintaining that. Is... Hello, my name is Laura. Hey, Faye! Laura. What's going on with you, with your shysty self? Friendless, pasty, opera-loving hey, merchant? Hey, just call him right out. <laughs> I'm not a... I'm sorry, what exactly is this about? <laughs> yeah, look at his cuffs. You prematurely waking up cryo-frozen amnesiacs and then stealing their settlement money. Uh, look, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yeah? Bam! That's your signature, Mark Manley. You gave the go-ahead to defrost my ass. Look, I'm sorry, uh, Miss Valentine. <laughs> if you've been suffering from amnesia, but it's a, a known side effect of long-term cryosleep. You targeted me. Knew I'd wake up all scared and confused. Who am I? What happened? Why do you sleep at night? Look, I think you need to talk to one of our attorneys. I'm sure that they can help. Yeah? Who? Whoa. My lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a really big fish here, ready to defrost. Um, you hungry? <laughs> Whoa, that was unexpected. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are the Callisto Liberation Front, eco soldiers, and space. Huh. That's the whole point of terraforming. Silence! Your company is a plague <laughs> upon nature. She looks Your serious in our arms. Oh, environmentalists. <laughs> Your reckoning. Pollinate him. <laughs> oh, that's going to really suck for somebody. Up, oh, too late. Oh, yuck. <laughs> the look on her face. <laughs> I'm a tree. Like that Don Cheadle uh, <laughs> Captain Planet. I'm turning everybody into trees. That's really gross. Yuck. <laughs> I love the nice touch of like the little spurts of blood coming out. <laughs> Dang, Faye, you catching slugs too? Dang, they stole your ship and your tape. You guys are so lucky oh. that I ran into you. Oh. Oh, do you mind? She is still shot. And then brushing it off like whatever. Callisto Soul. Look at me. You wanna make your mother happy. I do. I do. Wow. Run of the mill eco fast shit. Graduated to full on mass murder with a 25 million price tag. Can That's a pretty big wound count. Yeah, I'm tracking them now, Skinny. Okay, so we can intercept them at Mars and then. What the shit is that? Iron! Right, like she got us Asimov. Wait, no, she got Asimov shot in the neck and almost got me killed. She screwed us then, and she's gonna screw us now. <laughs> I don't think we can trust her. I'm... Now who's doing the screwing? Don't. Don't. What is that? Oh, straight up took your ship. The tone changes so drastically whenever we get to Julia. And Vicious. Why? The elders. What they made me do to you. He's still apologizing. You better listen to your woman. But if anyone can outwit Mal, it's 
it's you. You're gonna park it on the train track. Wow, so much for Manly. Spores got him. Ugh. That <laughs> is really gross. Tracker, how'd you even find me? You disabled a tracker, not all the trackers. Spike's real protective of his shit. Please, I just want to kill him. <laughs> Goddamn, Spike, yeah. how many times I gotta tell you? Stow it. Reaching out to Maui and Rai to arrange a sit down with her and Vicious. Now, I know you don't get involved <laughs> the in the way she said it. She was like, hmm. That's cool. Little pockets of ocean and lake on a moon. We find Howard. Maybe we get a main line of Maria's location. I need my gun. No Absolutely way. not. <laughs> How am I supposed to defend myself? They're terror farmers. What are they going to do? Plow you to death? Well. Found Howard. <laughs> Poor bastard. Slept with the wrong skirt. Now can I have my gun? Here comes no. the goons. Goon fight. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's got to suck. <laughs> Got left. Mom, where are you going? Bring her back. You're, You're right. I love that effect. Hello, Mark. Uh, <laughs> I barely hear you. All right, I can hear you. So your offer. She got the Darth I Vader voice. <laughs> Good job, Faye. This day is the worst. <laughs> Come on, Faye, save the day. Okay, or just run into it. That'll work. <laughs> Harrison, what are you doing? <laughs> Making mother happy. No. Oh, wow. Being ruthless. No. I said, I'd rather be a tree than be in a cell with you. That's jacked up. We follow the smoke trail. Yeah. You're lucky to be alive. My ship. You survived that? Listen, um, Jet says you can stay here on the Bebop. Temporarily. For real. Who is the cosmonaut? Welcome to the Bebop. Okay. All right, so that concludes episode four of Cowboy Bebop. I... I mean, so far, it's, it's kind of like the same pace. Some of the some of the jokes are still, you know, they're okay. It still looks really beautiful. The music is still driving everything the way we like it. The vehicles still look good. Pretty much some of the same thoughts that I had from, from before. We got a chance to really dig a little bit deeper into seeing who Faye Valentine is. Uh, I did like the beginning when we, they kind of blended uh, an episode regarding like the Echo Terrorists. Uh, instead of turning everybody into monkeys, they're turning everybody into trees. The special effects on all of this has been really good. I know, it was, like I said before, regarding some of the vehicles and stuff, but some of the tree work was good. Uh, when you see the engines blasting, that looks pretty cool. Those are really pretty. Uh, and some of the effects that you see on the planets regarding some of like, the civilizations and things like that look really good. Uh, Faye, still funny. They did a really good job casting her, I think. I think she looks the part. Uh, some of the attitude might be a little bit different, but it still works. Uh, like I said before, these are more like characters within the Bebop universe that are recognizable and fun. 
and we get an opportunity to kind of like watch them uh, do their thing. One of the episodes in the original animated series was regarding finding Faye's background and they take some really poignant moments within the, the cartoon to, to do a, a cartoon. They take some poignant moments within the anime to really like break down and have like a really good emotional connection. I don't think this is gonna be one of those series that's gonna have that. I think it's gonna be comedy uh, through and through and pretty slapsticky at times as, as well. Uh, even when we get introduced in, to Julia through some of these, um, it's still, even though the, the moments seem a little bit darker and the set design does get a little bit darker, it still doesn't like feel like you're being put into a seriously dramatic kind of mood. You're, you're still within like the slapsticky world. I'm wondering how that's gonna like really work out when we dig a little bit deeper into into those characters, uh, how Spike interacts with it, and then of course finding the the, the deeper elements into Faye's character. Uh, the <laughs> the guy that was like the broker of not the broker, the one that was scamming uh, Faye of all of her her benefits while she was in cryo. <laughs> the best thing about him were his cuffs. <laughs> Okay, so Faye, as far as I'm so Faye, as far as I'm concerned, is absolutely indestructible. She got shot. She said it was a graze wound, but she got like shot square. Like most graze wounds, it's like it hits like the outside of the flesh, you know, outside of something, and it's like a little nick. Like she got shot square in her chest, and they're like, oh no, it's a graze wound. And then just when you think she's not any more invincible, she crashes her ship falling out of the sky from atmosphere, mind you, and she just has like a little smudge of dirt on her forehead, so Faye's completely invincible. Yeah. That is a perfect example of how Faye's Maybe supposed to be. you're right. <laughs> My hey, dog. I got your ship and your dog. <laughs> Yo in the wake. Right here is like one of those dramatic moments again that I was saying earlier regarding Julia. All right, and then there's this like really phallic, horrible imagery going on, like you know what, what area of that person's body she's digging into and then she pulls out that really um, gross looking substance that looks really close to other substances that <laughs> come from that region. <laughs> like, come on, they, they knew what they were doing with that. But, all right, so here's like another, like here's some things that, that, that may not necessarily like work with moving the story along. Like, don't get me wrong, I like seeing a contortionist as well, but they spent like a lot of time on this scene watching her do this back bend. I'm grateful for it, but you know, it just seems like a lot of added fluff. Uh, I'm not sure if we're ever gonna find out who the cosmonaut is. It'll probably be like the last thing that we see this season. It's probably gonna be the non-stop running joke, but that's fine, that's cool. I'm still on board with Bebop. I'm still living in the world of nostalgia. And I'm still ready to see episode five. Yo, make sure you hit that subscription button so that you know when episode five drops. Click the alert button, hit a thumbs up, man. That's how YouTube knows that you're digging these. Uh, other than that, yo, thank you so much for hanging out. It's been tons of fun and I will catch you on episode five. Peace out.